individual because the only way you are going to transform a family is when you have restored an individual. Yes. It's when you have taken an individual back to a place of original intent, a place of lost privileges, a place where men initially intended man to be, which is a place of wholeness, a place of completeness, a place of abundance, a place of health, a place of prosperity, a place of success. Amen. It's only when an individual has come to that place where God originally intended them to be that there will be of tremendous ministry to the world around them. No wonder why you realize that many a times, you see, people might think, Oh, you know, the devil is, is busy attacking marriages. No, he's not attacking marriages. He's attacking individuals in the marriages. Yes. Amen. Because he wants to mess up the individuals in the marriages. Because what? As, as soon as these individuals in the marriages are messed up, definitely they're going to have a messed up marriage. And when the messed up marriage is going to lead to a messed up community. Yes. It's going to lead to a messed up community. So the enemy is in the business of messing up individuals. What, what the enemy is fighting is not necessarily institutions. He is fighting individuals. Because he knows what individuals are capable of doing. He knows what restored individuals are capable of doing. He knows what whole individuals are capable of doing. So he'd rather have a world surrounded by a bunch of broken folks. He'd rather have a world with a bunch of broken folks because as long as individuals are broken, then definitely the family is going to be broken and the community is going to be broken. Yes. Amen. Thank you. So right now, I just want us to pray and our praise to say, we don't, we don't want to be broken. Amen. We know that Jesus came to heal the brokenhearted. Amen. Oh, Jesus came to heal the brokenhearted. Yes. That's what Jesus came to do. He came to heal the brokenhearted. Imagine, you could have said, I, I've come to heal broken families. Yes. But he didn't say, I came to heal broken families. No. He said, I came to heal the brokenhearted. Yes. Why? Because when I heal the broken heart, I have also healed the broken family. Yes. When I heal the broken heart, I've also healed the broken family. Hallelujah. So, so tonight, we're going to pray, and we're praying that, that we be restored as individuals. Yes. Amen. We want to experience restoration. Yes. Amen. We want to be taken back to a place of lost privileges. Yes. Yes. You know, there was, there, was a, there was a time when I was just looking at the scriptures. You remember with that scripture that's in the book of Psalms that tells us that um, he restoreth my soul. Yes. He restoreth. My soul. I, I, you know, the, the word looks very simple, isn't it? He restoreth. He restore. I mean, what, you don't need a dictionary for that, do you? But, you know, when I, was, when, I, when, when I was 21 years old, I was really curious. I wondered, what does the word restore really mean? What does the word restore really mean? I mean, I've heard everybody just throw it around, but what does it actually mean? So I opened the dictionary, and the dictionary told me, that to restore is to take something back to a place of lost privileges. Yes. To restore is to take something back to a place of lost privileges. Yes. So when you say he restores my soul, what am I saying? He takes my soul back to a place of lost privileges. Yes. Amen. Yes. He takes my soul back to a place of lost privileges. And that's where I want to be. I want to be in a place of lost privileges. Oh, yes. I want to be in a place of lost privileges says that when I get these privileges, yes. I'll be able to share the same privileges with my brothers, with my sisters. I'll be able to share the same privileges with my community because I have been taken to a place of lost privileges. Amen. Amen. So just, just, just imagine when, 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 when you do this, it simply means that now the scripture has a, has a totally new different understanding altogether. And now, you, now when you begin to pray and you're saying, I need to go back to that place of lost privileges. Yes. Because there is a place of lost privileges. Yes. There is that place where I'm, I'm forever smiling. Amen. <laughs> there, is that, there is that place where I'm forever happy. Yes. There is that place where I'm, I'm forever giving life. Mm. I want to go to that place where I'm forever giving life. I want to be in that place. I want to be in a place of lost privileges. Mm. That every time I open my mouth to speak, blessings are coming out. Blessings are coming out. That every time I open my mouth to speak, lives are being changed. 
Lives are being transformed. Why? Because I am anchored in the place of lost privileges. Because I'm anchored in the place of lost privileges. So right now, I want us to pray. Okay.